Hello friends and welcome to this video. Thanks for being here. And um, in this video I'd like to talk about fear starting on your spiritual path. I don't know why I'm speaking about this recently, like beginning stuff. I think because I've recently been to a retreat and I haven't done a like a mediumship retreat for, for many years. And it's I guess it's bring up remembrance in me. The biggest fear, basically, a big fear of starting out in your spiritual path is um, an interesting one because it's like, um, how can I relate, relate it to? <laughs> Maybe it's like being naked in, um, you know those, those beaches you have, like nudist beaches? You know, the first time you're probably like, oh, people are judging me. I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> um, and uh, it takes some time to get used to just being completely naked, maybe. And that's, I guess, the same in spirituality. Although, you know, you're, you're showing your true self. You're, you're showing your passion and you're, you're concerned and embarrassed about your sharing your, your experiences, psychic experiences, dreams. And you probably th think that you're crazy. And in my experience, uh, hosting many workshops and sound healing circles, and I always find that when I'm doing a sharing at the end, we go around in a circle and I say, start with the person to my left, go around and said, okay, we're going to start sharing. We're going to start to my left and, and go clockwise around, around the room, ending on the person to my right. And just um, talk to me about or share in the room, you know, everything is is uh, personal, everything is private, nothing's going to go beyond this room, about how the session went, how an experience has happened, and um, anything you, you experienced, uh, being open as much as you like, but keep it, you know, short for about a minute or two, um, if you can't find anything, then just say one word. So I'll start to my left, and people often start with like, yeah, it was good, I was relaxed, get to the second person, and they start to express more. They're like, oh, I, I felt this vibration, you know, around my solar plexus. And people who are a bit more advanced in the circle will start to express a little bit more. And as you get halfway, then you start seeing people nodding, especially the new people who are very new to, to therapy and, and workshops. And, and you, you start getting people, as you get to the last person, to, to the, my right, for example, out of the circle that um, they're very expressive, you know, it starts to be quite quiet or a couple of words and then people are very outspoken and then when you get halfway and then someone's saying, oh yeah, I, I felt like there was people walking around the room, I felt like hands were, pe you know, people were touching me and I felt very relaxed and then someone says, oh yeah, I had that too and then you go back to the first person that started the, the sharing circle and they're also nodding and going, yeah, I had that. I think, well, why didn't you share in the beginning? It's because people are embarrassed to talk about what they have said in case they sound crazy. But then when, you, when you're with the like-minded people in the group, then you realize you're not going crazy. What you experienced and, and felt and have senses about is what everyone else in the room has also experienced. So it's really nice to hear when you have feedback uh, in, in my circles that I've done is that people are very comfortable, they're expressive, and um, yeah, people are sharing. Um, but we are become very embarrassed about being comfortable in, in spiritual spaces. There's a lot of people who take a back seat and just listen to, to what's going on. Maybe it's very new to them, maybe they haven't quite experienced those things yet. But there's a lot of people, especially new beginners um, in spiritual circles, I'm saying spiritual circles because this involves sound healing, mediumship, um, therapy, yoga, everything that is spiritually and holistic based that is not the norm, then people can often feel a bit embarrassed about sharing too much. And um, yeah, sometimes people share a bit too much, a bit too personal, but everyone is completely different, completely different. So my advice to you is be as open as much as you feel comfortable. Um, and don't feel ashamed or afraid or embarrassed that you know you're experiencing something. I mean, you know, if it's of sexual nature, 
keep it to yourself because it can make people a bit uncomfortable. You know, if you've had a dream and you've been in a workshop and you fell asleep and you had some sort of sexual dream, you might want to keep that to yourself. But there's other things such as like psychic awakening or you're feeling your mother around you or your cat with you and it's you know the, if the teacher the, the master the teacher master teacher who's the the teacher of the the ceremony or the class or the workshop or the event should have enough experience in themselves to understand the energies what's going on and will assure you and make sure you're okay but it's um, for people who have a lot of fear um, expressing their feelings and experiences within you know workshops for the first time can feel a little bit uncomfortable i'm not sure how to express themselves and what's going to happen but i assure you that you're not on your own most likely what you have experienced or felt in your own meditations on your own and in spiritual circles um, can help ignite the passion and understanding for other people so be completely yourself um, be yourself completely and doesn't matter what other people think I love a quote that is your 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 opinion of me is none of my business and it's totally true you should get to a point in your spiritual journey your spiritual path or on your path whatever it may be is that you are comfortable in your own skin you don't have to prove anything to anybody else you don't have to you know say anything to anybody else it's like what is your own validation of your experience is really important you might have it's usually that you have an experience yourself that not other people can understand and that's normal some people can relate but they weren't fully in the experience but that experience was for you to um, to understand and have that experience in order to be more on your path for, for validation so I've been in a lot of seances um, trance circles where we've had a lot of phenomena and one really powerful story because I know the person very well, my father, in the seance, um, he asked during the seance, the beginning, you know, can you show me some matter through matter? Um, he asked himself, but he, he, he wanted to show the people in the group. So the spirit communicator that came through the medium at the time was like, yeah, okay, I'll see, see what we can do. You know, we put it on the list for you. So my dad had him being in charge of the circle at the time, he had locked the door and we do that for security purposes and make sure no one's going to come in as well. So we lock the door internally, he puts the key in his pocket, he sits down in the dark and has a little red light on. He turns it off so for the whole seance it's black, you know, he sat on the key, he had locked it. We also, he had also um, recorded the whole session. At the end of the seance, um, he found that the key wasn't in his pocket but spirit had taken the key and put the key into the door unlocked the door and opened it a small crack you know that much wide like an inch wide and first of all he was like oh i forgot to lock the door but he listened back to the recording and because it's echoey in the sounds room you can definitely hear him locking the door and taking the key out and he must have put the key in his pocket and sat down so he listened to that recording a number of times but that experience was for him. Him saying the experience to other people, they won't deeply embed the experience and like the wow factor in them to feel, oh wow, okay, this, this happened. Um, it's an individual journey, it's an individual experience that is deeply embedded within the person that has had that experience, if you're getting my understanding here. So whatever you have experienced in your life, I suggest, you know, you can express it and share it with people, but they may not resonate or they may not understand fully the experience. They may have some understanding, especially if it's a teacher, master teacher, they should have an awareness or experience it themselves somewhat slightly, at least in their spiritual path that they can relate. But not everyone around you in the circle is gonna understand everything but they will believe or you know make sense and think you're not making it up whatever's happened but be emotional if you are if you need to cry about the experience during it just be yourself let it out because that's what needs to be healing takes form in many different places and many different ways and releasing that pain that trauma that experience is for you just to release i was crying the other day because i had to 
give up my dog many years ago, Obi, Obi Gon Kenobi. He was phenomenal, he was great. He came into my life at the right moment, the right time to assist me in healing. I needed it. I was very much alone after a serious uh, relationship that was very traumatic, uh, very horrible. Um, the person had treated me horribly. I'd never experienced those awful manipulative ways before. It left me broke but my dog came into my life at the right time to assist me. I didn't want to be around anybody, but being around him was healing. And I dearly miss him, but at the time I had no job. I had him <laughs> as, as my best friend, as my pet, who I miss dearly. And I had to make a big sacrifice. And I know it sounds horrible. I, I'm not, I don't believe I'm a bad person, so if you think that I gave up my dog for my own selfish needs, it wasn't that at all. I was very stuck, I had an opportunity to be in London, and I was like, give up my dog, go back to my old patterns and ways, and without a job, um, with him, or do I have a change? And he's, he has his own path too, and I had the opportunity to be in London, doing what I love doing, and it was very healing for me, that, that journey. Um, and it was the hardest thing I ever had to do in my life, the hardest decision, but I had to just do it. And it was very difficult, I was crying the whole time. So if you think that I'm a bad person by giving up my dog, it was something I didn't want to do, but I had no choice. I had a choice, but I could have been stuck. I could have stayed stuck. And he helped me a lot. So I made sure I gave him to a family that had children, that he was loved, and he is still to this day. But I still miss him and hearing about some experiences the other day just brought me up in tears and sorrow and not depression just you know he he was a beautiful beautiful dog and was just my shadow he followed me everywhere and um, what am I saying about this um, what was the start of this oh yeah talking about sensitivity yeah so I was in in this classroom and I was just being teary and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm crying now. Like, no one's picking up on me being tearful. But we had to pair up and tune in and the other person was like, you okay? Do you want to go outside? I said, no, no, it's okay. Like, go ahead. I explained what happened and she understood the person I was pairing up with. It was a mediumship exercise, tuning into a, a pet. And uh, I was just, it brought up a lot of emotion for me because I dearly miss him. You know, he's out there still. Um, and yeah, I just, well, I just expressed and said, if I was embarrassed and I didn't share, then it could have upset the other person thinking, well, what's he upset about? Like, talk to me. The biggest thing in life is communication. If you communicate correctly, if you open up, if you say that, you know, if you express and explain, because not everyone is in your head. Although a lot of people are psychic out there, they don't know everything that's going on. And even if you're in a spiritual circle, people who are psychic and in tune, they can feel things, but it can trigger other people. So express clearly like what's going on, saying, sorry, I'm just feeling emotional, I lost my dog, um, just been a bit teary, I'm fine, I'm just, I'm not upset or hurt, I'm just, it's bringing up a lot of emotion, that's all. And then people understand and they can assist. So, um, you know, it's important to have balance also so if you're new to spiritual circles and or you're on your own a lot and you meditate and you're in tune and doing things synchronicity is building up your intuition is building up your sensitivity is building up um but you're not used to being in groups of people give a little bit but not everything but you know if people want to talk and express the communication then they will make that self, they'll make it obvious that they want to hear and talk about the experience. Sometimes people are very new to the experience that you've had or don't know what to make of it or just listening, so they can't relate. But if you do talk about what you've experienced, then people eventually will be able to relate because they've heard your experience before. It's all about timing, it's all about balance, it's all about communication, about being yourself and being comfortable but don't be too loud and, you know, saying too much and make it sound like you're being, I guess, ego or like, just generally just chat normally, be normal. Um, I haven't been 
always gifted with having lots of close friends in my life. I've had, you know, many close relationships which I've adored at the time, don't miss anymore. They've been very traumatic. But at the time I was just like one-on-one, -on -one, just me and that person or me and a, a close friend. Um, and so I haven't always been gifted being in groups of many people sharing. So when I first was in London, it was very new to me to sit around with groups of people and talk about just normal things. Like, oh, what did you have yesterday? Or should we get pizza? Or <laughs> should we watch a movie? I'm thinking, um, you okay? I guess people, you know, um, describe these things. I have been a bit of a loner my whole life. Um, very, it's been a big solo journey of mine. I have been in small groups of people from time to time, but very rarely. So my advice if you're new to the spiritual path, new to the spiritual journey, or you're new to being groups of people, just be yourself, but not be overboard too much because it can be too much for people sometimes if they're very new. But if you're very lost, just explain to them that you're feeling a bit lost right now. Before I end this video, I had an experience many years ago. I had a vision that came true that I was waiting for like 10 years and it it happened and I was very emotional about it I reached out to a lot of people people didn't understand they didn't know what to make of it I didn't know what the vision meant I do know now um, it was very powerful it was a vision that came true and I was very open about what happened I guess maybe people thought I was a bit crazy at the time maybe they thought it was another pair of reality that happened um, but I was very struck with wow this is happening right now what does this mean i know what it means now i'm not going to share in this video what it was but if i didn't share i wouldn't got the clarity i have now um or i'll be left questioning god i wish i had asked that person maybe that's what it's meant to me but learning from that vision is that i was questioning people around me and the vision rather than feeling what it meant and really the best confirmation and information you can get for anything spiritually or intuitive is feeling. Don't look into it analytically or like thinking in your mind, let it come to you. How does it feel? When you feel with your gut, with your intuition, that is the true resonance of energy because you are feeling into it. So I'll leave that with you. Be yourself express because you'll usually find in spiritual circles people are very much like yourself or very similar they're not muggles they're not earthbound people who don't believe in this stuff they're here to learn too so share as much as you can if you like as long as it's appropriate be yourself and um, yeah enjoy the next stages of workshops and retreats until next time thank you for watching if you got this far Please leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below so we can uh, keep the flow of communication and um, comments going and I'll speak to you in another video. Take care for now.